The UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks, after a couple of weekends on the road, returned to the Songus Center Ice Friday night for the first of two games, a home-and-home home series this weekend with the always difficult Black Bears of the University of Maine. The second encounter will be Sunday, late afternoon at the Alfond Arena in Orono, Maine, and that will be the Black Bears' home opener. The River Hawks so far, 6-1-2. and two. They are ranked fifth in the country. It's a good start, but this weekend will not be easy. None of them are. This one will be no different. Now, there's several things that concern me about man they're, they're tenacious they cycle well they've got great team speed they're well coached so I, I can't even narrow it down to one there, there's several things that I have to think about leading up to the weekend and um, and let's face it they, they've played some great opponents they're desperate for wins and uh, they're gonna provide a, every bit uh, of a challenge that we've faced so far this year I mean you try not to, to think of it home or away um, you try to keep an even keel no matter where you're playing but there's definitely that that uh, incentive when you go on the road. Um, it's a, kind of a different game, you know, it might be a different type of atmosphere, more hostile. Um, but Maine's an extremely fun place to play. Um, they have a great team and it definitely should be a good weekend. Two games over three days, two different buildings. The Songus Center in Lowell, the Alfond Arena in Orono, Maine. And the buildings do make a difference. I think uh, when you look at Maine's rink, the, the corners uh, are kind of oval. Everything filters to the back of the net, uh, and everything filters to the net in general. It's a wonderful old arena that uh, provides a lot of excitement. You look at the Sangas Arena, we feel it's one of the best venues in college hockey. So both teams are going to have the advantage when they play at home, and uh, that's the way it should be. This UMass Lowell Hockey Club and its goaltender, Kevin Boyle, at the moment are playing very, very well. Last weekend, a sweep of the Catamounts at the University of Vermont, 5-3 to three the first night, one nothing the second night. The shutout was Boyle's second of the season, fifth of his UMass Lowell career, and he simply put, is playing terrific hockey, though he seems not to want to take credit for that. I think it's, it's more of a team thing. The team's playing really well. Um, you know, games where I may let up three goals, they come out and they score five or six. And, um, you know, they're keeping everything to the outside. They're making my job really, really easy. They're letting me see and everything. And my job is to make the first save. And if there's a rebound, they do a great job of clearing it out too. So it's more of them. Yeah, he's doing a great job this year. Let's face it, uh, he's come in with uh, uh, certainly a new uh, level of poise. Uh, and uh, he's come up in great situations. And the team feels very comfortable playing in front of him and uh, probably a reassurance for both the decor and the forwards. The one nothing win Saturday night in Burlington, Vermont, was the sixth time this year, and that's six out of nine games that the Riverhawks have been in that have been decided by one goal or less. They are three, one, and two in those situations. And what we are learning about this hockey team is not only that they have grit and determination and all of those things, but they are poised under pressure. You find out about your group as the year goes along, and we're in game number 10 if you count the exhibition game. So you're starting to find out little characteristics about the group, and, and I like their, uh, their calm and, and their poise and, and part of their resiliency that you talked about uh, in tight uh, situations. If I had to pinpoint one thing, I thought we made adjustments as the two games were going along very well. The kids were able to absorb some of that information and execute it. And that's a good sign. Again, UMass Lowell and the University of Maine twice this weekend. Friday night at the Songus Center and then Sunday afternoon up in Orono, Maine at the Alfond Arena. If you can't be there, you can catch both games on the Riverhawk Network.